Welcome Sagittarius to your weekly reading. This is for the 25th of September to the 2nd of October. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Sagittarius, I'm starting off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you for this week. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Sagittarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Right, let's see what's coming in for you. The first card you're getting is number 12, a change in the wind. This is an exciting energy, Sagittarius, because it tells us there is going to be a change in some area in your life and you're going to feel it this week. We have your second number 12 coming in, expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. So there is a great possibility that these two messages are interlinked. And whatever happens and whatever's going on in your life this week, Sagittarius, you're being asked to do what feels right for you and not look for approval elsewhere. And lastly, you've got number eight, community. And community speaks to us of our soul tribe, our network, the people we interact with on a daily basis. So we will see what that is all about. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a tarot card for each core message and then I will come back around again and clarify even further for deeper insight. Right, let us see now what is coming in for Sagittarius this week, please. We have got the Page of Cups, the Empress, and the Nine of Wands. So we are going to start off here with our Page of Cups, and I'm just going to get your clarifier. Right, let's see now what the Page of Cups is for Sagittarius, please. The Five of Wands. Sagittarius, with the Five of Wands energy, it tells me that some of my Sagittariuses might be in quite a challenging situation. With Five of Wands, it speaks to us of arguments, competitions, disagreements. There could be shouting, battle of the egos. And of course, this is not an easy energy to be involved in. We do see with our Page of Cups energy that something is about to happen this week. Page of Cups is the energy of an unexpected message. This could be the energy of you and your colleague at work having a lot of disagreements regarding a certain project. And then what happens is your boss steps in and intervenes and this is sorted out. This could be the energy, my dear Sagittarius, say you and your partner are fighting about money, for example. And you're going back and forth and back and forth and you can't agree on anything. Some kind of news comes in that just solves everything. The argument stops and you move forward. This piece of news that is coming in is the change in the wind and the change is bringing in peace and harmony. So wherever you might be feeling this energy in any way, something is coming in and it's going to break it and it's going to break the energy in a positive way. So this is an incredibly positive energy we are seeing under change in the wind. Let us move on now and see what the Empress energy is that is sitting under expectations. So let's see now 
what this Empress energy is for Sagittarius, please. The Six of Wands, wow, what a message. Sagittarius, this is interesting because I do feel that these two messages could definitely be interlinked. There is a great possibility that you have a very distinct idea on what you want to do. Now, with the Empress energy, you feel that there is something that you want to initiate, you want to establish, you want to grow. This could be the energy of moving to a new home, starting a family, starting your own business. But you've got this energy of, I've got so much to give, I want to grow something, I want to develop something, I've got an incredible amount of ideas. The five of wands could be the energy of people not agreeing with you. And they're saying, Sagittarius, this is not a time to leave your job and start your own business. Sagittarius, this is not a time to buy a home. And this would be the energy of all the conflict. But our message is, don't seek anyone's approval. Because, my dear Sagittarius, you have a very distinct idea on what this Empress energy is. Can you see they are both almost sitting in the same position, facing our change in the wind? You know. You can see what you want. You can almost feel what you want. And it does not matter how many people are coming up against you, telling you, no, don't do this, don't do that. It does not matter because what we see is your vision is clear. You see yourself in the position of the Empress. Now, it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the Empress we are talking about. You see your cornucopia flowing over. You see yourself not wanting for anything. The great thing is you are going to get a confirmation this week that changes all this energy and brings in the change. And then you've got the victory card, our Six of Wands. So, my dear Sagittarius, all those people you see there arguing with you, disagreeing with you, coming up against you, you leave them behind as you come up on the hill, elevated as the winner because you listen to yourself and you don't seek anyone's approval. You are going to be the victor. The victory wreath on your head tells me this is a very personal victory for you because you've stood strong when everybody was saying, don't do it, you can't do it, you don't have it in you. You stood strong. And on your wand of infinite possibility is the victory wreath. Anything and everything is possible because, my dear Sagittarius, you see the vision. You see it so clearly, you're going to manifest it. And here is our confirmation. Let's move on now and see what the Nine of Wands energy is that is sitting under community. So we want to see now what the Nine of Wands energy is for Sagittarius. The Three of Wands. Sagittarius, the Nine of Wands energy is you defending your position with regards to your community and these are the people in your life at the moment who might not be agreeing with you. And of course, it's not going to be everybody, but there are certainly going to be people who are going to be the naysayers. You know, that bit of doom and gloom energy. You can't do it. That's not the right time. You're not skilled enough. You're not gifted enough. You don't have enough money. All that energy. But because you're holding strong, because you see your vision, we saw you get your victory. And this energy, this Nine of Wands energy of defending your position, you are now able to release it. Because it's quite exhausting always having to protect yourself and stand up for yourself. And the reason why you are able now 
to relax and let it go is because Three of Wands tells us this week you're going to see actual things coming to life. Here are your ships coming in. This is now telling us that your manifestation, your victory, is going to become a reality. Now it might come in small, it might come in huge, everyone will be different, but you're going to see something, especially with our Three of Wands coming out here. So my dear Sagittarius, well done for standing strong. And the stronger you stand, the bigger the reward. Remember, the only approval you need is yours. Right, let's move on now and get a message from your angels for the week. So we just want to see now what Sagittarius' angels would like to share with them for this week, please. Be assertive. Now that makes perfect sense, does it not? Here's your angel holding the key. The key to your victory, to your manifestation, is you being assertive. You standing up for you. You saying what you need to say. You doing what you need to do. And we saw that, my dear Sagittarius, right from the beginning, you were not relenting. You can taste the stream. You can almost touch it. And you are not giving up on it. And because of that, it's going to materialize on the physical plane. Wow, what a week, Sagittarius. So, that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week. And I'm sending you all so much love. <music>